so I'm Jennifer Fairbanks. Um, today you're not going to get a shot of me because I worked out and I have not showered yet, so I don't look presentable. Anyways, yesterday after I had posted my video on digitizing, I had somebody ask, oh, um, you know, are there other ways to do this? So let's just say this is a basic half scale sloper. If I wanted to get this into Illustrator, what I would actually do is I would cut it out on the lines. Um, actually, I could probably even cut it in here, but sometimes it's really hard to see when you scan things in. Um, so sometimes what I'll do is I'll cut on the outside line and put a piece of color paper behind it and scan it. Before I do that, what I actually want to do is I want to do a one inch, basically a one inch square. So I can, and yeah, I'm doing this off of the lines because for some reason this paper is just really dark and I don't think I'd be able to see, see it very well. So yeah, I'm not doing it right on here. So I'm going to do basically a one inch grid. So when I scan it in, I can always double check and draw, really? Oh, these pencils are so cheap. Let's see, do I have another piece in there? No. Nope. So I have to use a regular pencil. So basically I will, so it's right there. Um, so basically I'll make sure that that stays as one inch. Um, so that's how I would scan it in. Okay, so this is the same pattern that I showed in the other video. This is the one where actually I just scanned it and we put it into Illustrator. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to check the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a box of, let's see, one inch by one. I apparently have my settings wrong here. So I'm going to make the inside clear. But let's see if this it may have come in perfect. So yes, um, this is at 100%. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to my layers and I'm actually going to basically lock the bottom part. You can keep your scale on there if you want. Um, it doesn't really matter right this second. So now I'm going to take my pen tool and I'm going to draw my shape. So you can probably zoom in a little bit more. I'm just on my laptop so it's a little bit hard to see. Okay, I'm going to hit the Alt and then that button there to make it a straight line. Then take that as a straight line here. Okay, get my curve and my Alt click so I have the straight. Scroll down. That is a straight line. All right. Then I come over here. And that is actually a curve. I'm just a little bit off. Okay, I'll just click. I believe this is pretty much a straight line here. Straight line here. And that's pretty much a straight line. And then we come all the way up, back up here, and there we go. There is our shape. Then you can hide. You can keep it rectangle, but you can hide this and you've now created your shape. So I also go in, oops, I'm not doing mean to do that. Um, we also need to add the drill hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to make a little circle. So I'll just move that right to there. And then we can hide that. And there you go. Now I also have notches that I probably want to mark. So let me open that back up. So we have a little notch here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do kind of like a little uh, a circle, kind of a narrow circle like that. I'm going to cut it in half, actually make the middle white. And then I'm going to cut it in half and delete that half and basically come over here and make that my notch. Let's see, is that right in the middle? Yep. So, I'm 
Yes, my notches are kind of big, but we'll hide that and voila, there is my pattern. So that's how you can put it in here. And then there's, then you can take it and grade it from here, or you can just use it and make this as like a downloadable pattern.